I'm going to show you how to make a bow shuriken. You can pick these up at your local hardware store, Home Depot, wherever. The one that I use is round rod, one fourth by 36, about three feet long. You can make a couple of them out of this. All you have to do is figure out what size you like, measure it, cut it. Alright, this is a cutting wheel for metal. There's two different types of wheels you want to use. This one is a cutting wheel. It says right here. It says what it's for. Well, you can't really see it. I kind of messed it up, but metal. Real thin. You only want to cut on this side, not for grinding. This is a grinding wheel. A little bit thicker. You use the sides, you use the front. It's a lot thicker than this one is. This is cutting, this is grinding. You can see the difference. You want to use a little grip on there because when you're cutting, it's going to get real hot. You don't want to be holding it. Use your gloves. But this is nice and steady. You can cut it. I've already cut a couple of them out, different sizes. There's a couple of them. These ones are the same size. Here's a smaller one. You can cut them however you like. I made a small one just to to show this is about the same size as the pen that I was using in the first video. These ones are a little longer, that way I don't have to curl my fingers so much. It's easier to control. Now we're going to sharpen the tips. Easy thing to do, all you have to do, grind it on the tip and just rotate it. Alright, right, what I was doing is, I was smoothing out one side of it. This is going to be the side that you hold in your palm. Nice and smooth so it doesn't scratch you on the way out because it's going to glide cross your fingers. I'll explain all that later. The rest of it, now you can do this two ways. You can make both ends sharp, which is going to be a spike, not a shuriken. That way you can just pick it up, throw it either way. It'll work both ways. Or a shuriken, which is dull on one side, pointy on the other side. Make sure you wear your gloves, your glasses. Don't cut yourself. water down here to cool it off as I go. All right, here's the uh, bow shuriken that I made. I would, I would recommend these for practice because they're not very heavy, but they're pretty easy to cut through, pretty easy to shave down and make pointy. Um, just good for practice. I wouldn't use any kind of hard wood to throw it at because it's probably not going to stick very good. It'll make a hole where you're going to do it, but it's not going to stick. So use some kind of thin wood, but if you use something pretty easy to stab, like a cardboard or something, you'll be able to get the technique down. But I'd probably use something heavier than this. Also, when you're holding it, 
uh, rather than using just the two fingers, try three. Put them in front of your middle finger and use it like a guide so it slides. That'll keep better direction on it.